shop update. Well, it's a little bit more than a shop update. We're parting out these two sleds. We're parting out the IQR 860 and the Rev 827. Now, I know a lot of guys are upset about this. It's like, this was kind of like the building blocks of the whole power mod thing, but actually it wasn't. The ZX chassis was. It was the first sled we ever made. And it moved on as well. It moved on to greener pastures. So I can't keep them all. I can't keep them all. I got too many sleds. I think I have 15 snowmobiles. I, there's no room for them. And what happens is, and Simon will attest to this, we want to move on to another project, but one of these will break because we're out and we tag something or there's always an issue with something. And it takes away from the time to devote to projects. And I want to get that the Mega Elan done and I can't move. I can't move in here. So these are going. Uh, IQR, IQR 860 was awesome. Um, but now we've got two frontline sleds. We've got the two axis uh, sleds and then we're gonna have the 925 Elan. Don't worry. We have a better, more improved version of the uh, Rev coming. You can see it. That's we, we got the chassis. The chassis is right there. We got the chassis and I've been, over the last two or three years, I've been sort of gathering the parts that we need to do it. So we're going to change up things. We're going to make an error. We're going to get into it. We're going to get into what we're going to do. I'm not going to let the cat out of the bag. But we're going to uh, part these out. The motor's already gone. Uh, a bunch of the parts are already gone for this. Or they're going to be gone. Um, some people are saying, why don't you just sell the whole sled? It's a real shame. Well, these sleds have been rode pretty hard. And... You know, I, I don't think it's fair to somebody. I've done a lot of these videos where it's like, you know, this is how to buy a used snowmobile. <laughs> I know everybody sees how they're ridden and they know that we kind of abuse things. Um, but I'm not going to pass something on to somebody that it's not going to make them, you know, put a smile on their face and make them happy. There are issues with this sled, things that need TLC, of course. That, you know, when I sell a part and a piece for it i tell everybody exactly what's wrong with it i don't like to keep anything a secret i don't want things come back to haunt me um this chassis is beat hard so it needs uh i'm not going to sell it like that bottom line and i can't keep them all i got no room for them so try storing this many slides you, you, this doesn't work i mean it's i gotta i gotta be able to work in here i gotta be able to move things around i'm just working on that enticer back there for, for all i just put a new uh stator in it we had no spark so i tidied that up uh, one of my buddies so we're getting at that but that's where we're at we're uh parting these two babies out motor's gone a bunch of stuff's going off of here there this 860 how many hours would that have on it that one trip to gas bay because i rebuilt the motor before that so there's probably 10 hours on it yeah really like if, if yeah not more much more than that maybe yeah four hours a day for three days not even yeah yeah by the time you really run it you know that wide that or that long so yeah i mean that 860 is a, a mint motor uh they're dirty right now because you know shop dust and all that but i'm gonna clean everything up and uh everything is sort of listed the parts for sale on my facebook page but that's that's the scoop these are going making room for other projects because i want to build another land i've got uh, that yamaha 30 horsepower um, two-stroke liquid-cooled engine that I want to put in one. I got, I got other things I want to do, so we're going to do that. But that's where we're at with the Rev and the uh, IQR 860. Don't be too upset, okay? I know some guys are really mad, power mods, blah, blah, blah. Can't keep them all, and you know what? I need, uh, you know, m the money comes in handy to uh, fund the other projects. I mean, I sell some stuff, uh, parts and pieces, and I sell helmets and that stuff, but it doesn't cover the cost of doing all this. It's expensive to make these little 15-minute videos for you guys. There's a lot of money behind the scenes. A crank is 600 bucks every time I do a crank, and it's, it's expensive. Um, so, yep, I'm funding things as well, right? And the really cool thing is everybody gets to own a piece of Power Mods history. Well, anybody who buys parts and pieces. The hood, the hood sold. But it's cool stuff, you know. You can still buy the chassis. The chassis is pretty good. Uh, needs a little bit of reparation, but that's about it. So that's it. That's where we're at. Stay tuned. More videos coming. Got to get these out so I can get on that. Yeah.